I, I have uh, one more poem. Um, I wrote this yesterday, actually. Woo! And um, this one is about... There's this new movie trailer called uh, for a movie called Stonewall, oh, no. which is about... Oh, no. Um, and so, you know, the movie portrays this, like, white cisgender man named Danny who, like, was the first one to apparently retaliate, but what actually happened was Marsha Pay It No Mind Johnson was the first one to pick up a brick and throw it back, and so was Sylvia Rivera, both who are trans women of color, but I think there should be more visibility on them. This is my response to that trailer, and I hope you enjoy it. Woo! And it's on my phone, so I'm gonna be swiping. So I apologize if there's cuts. No queer of color. No trans of color. No femme of color. Picked up a brick for you to tell me straight acting hyper masculine cis men in a bottle of mayo will replace the rage that blooms within a busy within us, because what sells if not sex but alablaster skin? Mm. Growing up and thinking that my hue is a sin, mm. because it takes on sun better than him, him, and him. Ooh. Those white boys bearing pale chests and marching for equality, but forget the names of those that make safe spaces their main priority. Mm. Ensuring homeless trans kids have a place to stay in a warm meal and avoid murderous authority. But what is pride these days if not a monopoly mm. of the lives of trans women, <laughs> femme boys, and rad queers making them a commodity? And y'all wonder the fuck why there's so much animosity towards white gay men in wigs appropriating trans bodies? Because trans bodies are nothing more than a vernacular. Because trans bodies cannot be more than, than a vernacular. Because the idea that gender exists outside male and female or that gender is not a chosen at birth is on par with the existence of unicorns and flying monkeys. Because society tells us that blue is for boys and pink is for girls. Mm. And if you dare mix and match, you must be an abomination or at least be something fetishizing. Mm. Or at least be something dehumanizing. Or at least be something demonizing. Or at least be something that's too hard to talk about, so instead we are replaced with small town corn fed white boys. The ones who write, no blacks, no Asians on dating sites and scream, reverse racism if you challenge them. The ones who've taken Sylvie's and Martha's fight, Marsh's fighting for granted, but reverted back to the 1950s whites only Jim Crow because being white is an advantage. In case you didn't know, there's this thing called white privilege. A privilege so real it must have been invented or dreamed up by some crookedly demented white devil in a red dress so fucking hell bent on excluding the ones that made the space safe for you. Excluding the voices you write songs about and get rewarded for too. Pretending we're in a post whatever because you don't experience whatever and if you did you wouldn't know how to deal with all this pressure to act the way society sees you without looking like a transgressor or an outsider or a loner. Because with this brown skin and this well-informed rage, I'm rage, I am soon busting out of this oppressive cage, sharpening my tongue, preparing to disengage from the influence of white cis heteronormativity. Spread these fingers, I practice my dexterity in writing down everything so furiously, and live a life of real and true beauty, and live my true self and true identity. Fuck you if you ain't ready, because I'm not here for you. But please tell the right and real story. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Yeah.